Hello, good evening. I hope you're well. Greetings. I go by the name of the Bearded Captain, leader, flag bearer, trendsetter of all beards on digital and digital broadcasting media. I am that beard who tries to make people laugh, and I am that beard who tries to make people smile. It's still very difficult to do these videos looking at myself and the on this camera where my beard, I pride and joy, facial hair is not in full flow and full glory. I say this with almost my head bowed down low because my pride and joy is not in its full pride and full joy. But I am the bearded captain, leader and flag bearer and transetter of all bids. Last time we obviously talked about obviously this mishap. I want to talk about today though, I want to talk about the morning bid and how to deal with the morning bid. What is the morning bid? So literally, for example, if you have hair, obviously, <clears throat> you know what I mean? So if you have hair, you wake up in the morning and your hair's all over the shop, right? And you've probably got a cow's like there, and the cow's like there, and the cow's like there. Uh, or it looks like you've just been electrocuted, right? With a beard, with a long beard, uh, you can have the same thing. And it's a bit of a nightmare at the best time to deal with. So, how your captain uh, has dealt with this is he had the comb in his pocket. So literally, he slept with his comb. That's not, that's not what it sounds uh, I can assure you, I love my beard comb, but not that much that I want to sleep with it. It was in my pocket and I was asleep with it in my pocket, but I didn't technically sleep with my comb. Okay, I just want to clarify that. I have a love for my comb, but it has its boundaries. But anyway, so in the morning, you wake up and you have your morning breath. It's just a fact of life you do. And sometimes... A bit of saliva and whatever comes on your face. Sorry, I'm bordering on being disgusting now. And it can get on your beard. And I kid you not, you can literally wake up in the morning and smell your face and feel the scent off your beard. And it smells literally like sewage. It's a tricky one. And how do you deal with this? If you're like me, the captain, you have your comb to hand to make sure, obviously, the beard which is puffed out, is controlled, um, but you also have your perfumes, you have your beard oil, you know, so you don't use your beard oil then without doing it, but you make sure it's combed so it's not too puffed out, and you just absolutely book it to the bathroom. You give yourself clean, obviously you'll have your soap to hand, soap to start with because it's, it's stubborn, and obviously the right kind of smell of nice floral smell, probably manly smell because the ultimate man um, and literally that's how you deal with it obviously lots of water galore and ideally because we're all hygienic beards soak our beards with water put some soap on and you jump in the shower and obviously what do we do in the shower we give our beard lots of TLB tender loving of beard and literally you arguably take a long time in the shower they're like tw -tw -tw. What's taking you so long? And the truth is, what's taking you so long is, is you're pampering this bad boy. And you're making it nice and fragrant, scented, and obviously nice and fluffy. When I say fluffy, nice and soft. So, just to wrap it up then, ladies and gentle beards, how do you deal with the morning beard? Make sure you have your comb to hand, have some perfume to hand, wash it, put some soap on, praying you're near the bathroom, and give it a good shower and voila. Every morning, don't forget to wash your beard, comb your beard and fragrance your beard. And that is how you conquer the morning beard. I've been your bearded host, the bearded captain. It's over and out from me. Stay blessed, stay beard. Peace.